Hey Star Wars fans, well it's another day, it's another addition to the Gaming Greats Black Series line. Thanks for joining me for another review. We'll be looking at a brand new one. This was even teased by Hasbro, This was there was no rumour for it. Uh, there was absolutely nothing. Uh, usual Mike Television had the scoop um, here on YouTube, so word spread very quickly. And uh, believe it or not, he came into stores with uh, Darth, Darth Nihilus on release day yesterday. For some reason, my local store couldn't scan it in yesterday, so I came and picked it up today while their system's updated overnight. I know some people were able to get it yesterday. Um, not sure what the deal was with there, but I have it now. It is the Scout Trooper. So it's more of a riot control Scout Trooper. He is from Jedi Fallen Order. Nice to see Gregory Titus still getting some artwork jobs, despite the fact they've changed the main packaging. I know he said in his Instagram posts that he does like working with colour, so this is really cool for him. Um, and it's nice to see his packaging and his sort of art style following on, on new figures. So Gaming Greats logo on the side, a bit of a write up on the back. If you'd like to hit pause and have a very quick read there. So believe it, apparently this will be the last one for the year, but do we know? We didn't even know that this one was coming, <laughs> so who knows? Um, Looking forward to open this guy up. Um, I'm definitely going to hope to hope to get a second one of these. I've got to have two, two, two of these. He looks awesome. All right, let's open it up and have a look. All right, here is the Scout Trooper himself out of the box. This is this is a really cool addition to the line. Um, he does come with his tiny little, tiny little blaster, which does always fit in his uh, boot holster. He does also have this electro staff thing, which I don't know what to call yet. <laughs> um, electric baton rod, lightning rod, I don't know. Um, so this Scout Trooper is an almost complete repack of the Scout Troopers we've had for quite a few years now. Um, it was recently released in the Arkov line. Slight differences, they've taken the two pouches that come off under his breastplate and they've added this uh, strap pack um, which I believe is the energy pack to power this so you've got to have a cord that runs into the backpack that runs down the back here so he's packing a little bit more gear a little bit more power a little bit more energy um, so you know he can stand up and try and take on the Jedi Cal Kestis um, well most of them failed all of them failed <laughs> At least on my playthrough. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, you can sort of see underneath where they've taken the pouches off. Or they just haven't produced them because the uh, sculpt was there. And the pouches were a separate piece on the previous Scout Troopers. So they have just probably put the belt and this other accessory on, which looks fine. Um, it's nice that sort of just comes down and it's, you know, wrapped on his wrist with a band there. So that's fine. It looks good. Sort of go through, go around him a little bit. Fits nicely. It kind of look, it looks cool from the back. It's like a nice bigger version of the um, thermal detonators that the stormtroopers carry. Looks like here. I'm just looking at this here. This sort of clip here. It almost looks like it could have been a clip to hold this this weapon, but um. I'm not sure it is. I don't think so. Looks like it could have at one stage. Potentially. Um, but yeah, it doesn't look like that's the case now. That would have been a pretty cool feature to have that sort of unlit stuck to his backpack. Um, I could be wrong. It could actually work. It's just not working for me right now. <laughs> I'll try that after. But otherwise, this is a pretty good Scout Trooper. I don't have any problems with this figure. Um, it is a good good Scout Trooper. I don't see the need for Hasbro to go back and revisit this one. Um, even now with the pinless technology and all that sort of stuff, I think this one still holds up really well. And uh, Biker Scouts are awesome. I know we're apparently meant to get a deluxe one with a white speeder bike for the Mandalorian, as we did see in the trailer for Season 2. Uh, I haven't been running through articulation on figures recently because 
they've all got they've all got good articulation and there are enough reviewers out there to to cover those points um, I just want to show off the figure I just want to think I just think it looks cool I just want to show the figure off and uh, have a good look so yeah really cool addition to the line in my opinion more Jedi Fallen Order characters are great even if they're troopers I'd love to see some more actual characters coming in the line at some point too all right guys i'm going to leave it here let me know what you think in the comments below please like comment and subscribe that would be fantastic and i will be back with some more videos very very soon so until then may the force be with you always we're a little rushed so if you'll just get on board we'll get out of here